You're in tune to 93.1 Real FM. It's 19 hours and it's now time for the 93.1 Real FM News in Detail. We're so happy that you can join us. Welcome, I'm Gabriella Patra. Locally, medical practitioners warned of consequences for falsely approving COVID vaccine exemptions. Halt Minister Dr. Frank Anthony has warned of consequences for medical practitioners who incorrectly approve COVID-19 vaccine exemptions for persons who are eligible to take the jabs. In fact, he said some of these alleged exemptions are currently under investigation. The Medical Council of Guyana is a licensing and regulatory body formed to enhance and monitor the functioning of medical of the medical fraternity in Guyana. Last month, the organization had issued a statement warning medical professionals not to discourage vaccination against the novel coronavirus. Meanwhile, Dr. Anthony has since posited that the only persons medically exempt from taking the vaccine are those who have an allergic reaction to drugs or any of the components contained in the shots. In August 2021, Chief Medical Officer Dr. Narayan Singh had announced that persons with certain underlying medical conditions like cotton, clotting disorders or those receiving chemotherapy or dialysis may be exempted from taking the vaccine. Pregnant and breastfeeding women were initially exempted, but the health minister has advised that this is no longer the case. Dr. Anthony explained that in order for a pregnant person to be exempted, the physician who is issuing an exemption needs to concur with the CMO, and then once the two of them are in concurrence, an exemption to be issued. The Ministry of Health today also commenced a campaign whereby doctors will be visiting various clinics to educate pregnant and breastfeeding women on the safety of the Pfizer BioNTech vaccines, which are now available to this category of persons. <laughs> The 24-year-old laborer who had been accused of starting a fire that got to break down a police station was today charged with setting fire to a building that belongs to the state and remanded to jail. The accused Clarence Green appeared before the chief magistrate with his attorneys Ronald Daniels and Kishwana Jefford at his side. While in court, he was not required to enter a plea to the indictable charge. He declared his innocence to the media on the outside while being taken away by the police. I didn't do anything like this. They're trying to frame me, and I would like y like y'all to look into it, the man told the media. During the court appearance, the police prosecutor told the court that the accused confessed to the crime during a video recorded interview. The court was told that the video recording, as well as an audio recording of the alleged confession, will be presented during the case. The guy in the police force has claimed that the man confessed to starting the fire and although the man later told his attorneys that he never made any such confession, he was forced to sign a statement he could not read. The police said it was standing by the alleged confession. The breakdown police station was gutted by fire on Saturday, leaving nothing more than ashes behind. Regionally, two Caribbean nations are still in the United Kingdom's UK red list of countries to avoid traveling due to the high risk of COVID-19 infection. Haiti and the Dominican Republic are among seven countries that are still on the UK's red list. The other countries are Panama, Colombia, Peru, Venezuela, and Ecuador. Less than 10% of Haiti's population has received full shots of COVID vaccines, while in the Dominican Republic, cases continue to rise by the day, with the latest count at 886 new cases on October 7th, the Dominican today has reported. UK's red list used to have 54 countries and territories, but from October 11, the red list will reduce to the aforementioned seven countries. The proof of vaccination will be recognized from 37 new countries and territories. Government extends inbound vaccinated arrivals a system to afford the 37 countries and territory ter territory sorry, across the globe, including India, South Africa, and Turkey, meaning eligible vaccinated 
passengers arriving from the rest of the world countries only need to take a day two test in England, the UK government said in a statement. The move will also be seen as a boost to the airline industries and families separated during the pandemic, the BBC wrote. Meanwhile, Trinidad and Tobago, Cuba, Guyana and Suriname were among the 47 countries and territories that were removed from the red list. On the international scene, the U.S. deeply concerned about actions that undermine peace across the Taiwan Strait. U.S. National, S National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan has told the BBC. His comments come after China sent a record number of military jets into Taiwan air events zone for four days in a row in a public show of force. Taiwan considers itself a sovereign state, but China views the island as a breakaway province. Beijing has not ruled out the possible use of force to achieve unification. We are going to stand up and speak out both privately and publicly when we see the kinds of activities that are fundamentally destabilizing, Mr. Sullivan told the BBC diplomatic correspondent James Lansdale in Brussels on Thursday, a day after meeting China's top of a China's top diplomat asked whether the U.S. was prepared to take military action to defend Taiwan. Mr. Sullivan said, let me just say this, we are going to take action now to try to prevent that day from ever coming to pass. And finally, in the world of sports, Guyana has been confirmed as one of the 72 nations that the Queen's Baton Relay will touch as a build-up to the 2022 Commonwealth Games. The official schedule was announced on Thursday with the Baton making its 46th stop in Guyana on March 26, 2022. The relay officially begins in Cyprus on October 9, 2021 and ends in host nation England on July 4, 2022. The Queen accompanied Earl of Wessex attended a special ceremony on Thursday on the forecourt of the palace to launch the Queen's Baton Relay. They were joined by baton bearers made up of athletes who will be competing in next year's games, young flag bearers from the West Midlands and Birmingham's 2022 hometown heroes and representatives from across the Commonwealth. The Birmingham 2022 Commonwealth Games, which will be held from July 28 until August 8, 2022, will be at a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for the city, the region, and its people in a global stage. The Games is already proving to be a cyclist for transformation across the West Midlands, attracting new investment and funding, creating jobs and apprenticeships for local people and new opportunities for local businesses, as well as accelerating projects that will ensure the region is ready to host a fantastic sports and cultural celebration. <music> And as the 93.1 Real FM News in detail, credits to News Source, iNews Newsroom, Caribbean News Now, and the BBC. Now, 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 right now, Tam Jamil Vado. Real FM. 93.1 Real FM. The one and only. This is how we do. The People's Choice. Yo, what's going on? This is Drizzy. 93.1 Real FM. This is my station. The People's Choice. Let's go. go, go, go. 93.1 Real FM. 93.1 Real FM. The People's Choice. Coming to you wherever you are. Live and direct across this beautiful nation. From the East Coast to the West Coast. Highways, byways, and online. Yes, you heard right. Stream us online at realfmgy.com. Every day, all day for real music. Real Real people and real vibes. 93.1 Real FM. Real FM. The people's choice. 93.1 Real FM. Static. I love how you move your body. Come, come, show they walk it for me. Standing nothing to say cause you lift them look so good like plenty cherry You lift up your job for me, oh la la mama fit to fit it So you on the road yesterday, the rhythm your waist up like two lele -le. Cause I, 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 I must get that this on that waist mama before I die I, I, Just give me where you never give nobody, don't be shy I, I, I know all of them who watching they go talk But when they talk we go tell them
sure they walk it for me. I'm just standing nothing to say, cause your lips them look so good like plenty cherry. You lift and you drop it for me. Oh la la, mama, fit to pity. So you on the road yesterday, the rhythm your waist up like two lelele. Cause I, 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 I must get that this other waist, mama, before I die. I, I, just give me where you never get nobody, don't be shy. I, I, I know all of them who watching, they go die. for a Friday. That's tomorrow, of course. <laughs> well, tomorrow is going to be a party Friday here at 93. Sugar. It's going to be a Friday to celebrate. to 93.1 Real FM. Well, as you had a sugar rush, man. Whatever you're doing right now, good night to you. Yep, we're celebrating life. And we're going to be celebrating uh, life tomorrow. That's why I live in All day tomorrow. You can catch the gospel playing in the morning. Am I with the morning fuel? Norman, who celebrated his birthday this week. He's gonna be with you with the lunch pad. And then I know your favorite team at 93.1 Real FM. <laughs> Gonna join you from 16 hours, okay? Yeah, 